everyone welcome to big data thoughts today we are going to talk about continuous integration so i had previously done a video on devops and what it is why it is trending but today we will talk in depth about one of the uh, uh, things in devops which is the starting point the continuous integration so let's get started first of all what is continuous integration so continuous integration means that the developers whoever are working on the project are frequently committing their code to a shared repository now that shared repository can be anything it can be git or other um, uh, versioning systems but essentially the essence of uh, continuous integration is that as and when the changes are made to the code everybody working on the project all the developers are checking the code frequently and committing to a shared repository so that it is uh, accessible and available to everyone working on that project and every time when a developer does a commit to the shared repository it is the responsibility of the developer to run local unit test on their code do whatever verification is needed to ensure that it is not going to break anything when they check in so before integration these kind of checks are absolutely important and they are the responsibility of the developer now how will this continuous integration help it will help because the moment we check in the code we are continuously integrating meaning everybody is checking the code on a regular basis as and when they make changes and the moment the code is checked in the automatic build process triggers you can have test suites uh, embedded you can have the whole build running which will run all the unit tests and everything on the new code that has been checked in so it will catch errors um, very very early in the whole process so in a nutshell continuous integration means doing frequent check ins which will trigger automatic builds and tests to verify what we checked in is correct now this is a snapshot i just took from the amazon website which talks about gives a very clear picture of this whole devops process and in that where does continuous integration fit in so if you look at this picture it shows that there are uh, source control so this is where the source control is happening where people are checking in code so this is continuous integration where as soon as we make changes we check in the code there is an automated process which triggers the build so there is a build process that kicks in which does all the unit test and then after the build unit test everything looks okay we can define our own thresholds as to how many test cases should pass how should it look like and then it is deployed to a test environment where so typically before going to prod there will be a pre prod or a sit environment where the code will be deployed and we will run integration test load test and any other kind of testing that we want to do and then finally it will go to prod so this is a typical life cycle of a project from checking in to the build to staging environment testing to production now when we talk about devops how all of this is um, done is it is pretty much automated where you are constantly checking in code every time you check in there is a build trigger the tests are run so this is continuous integration continuous delivery and deployment means there is a automatic uh, deployment and delivery based on the test that you are running on your checked in code so this whole process is devops and this part where you are constantly checking in code and the code is getting built and tested is the continuous integration part now what are the typical steps when we talk about continuous integration so it's a it seems simple that it is just about checking in code but it is not it is a methodical process where a discipline is needed from each and every developer or the team as a whole to achieve continuous integration or devops uh, successfully so the first thing to do is identify what does identify mean that we need to identify a process that will require automation this process may be in any of the areas compilation testing inspection deployment database integration and so on so first step is to identify what are the different processes that i need to automate to achieve continuous integration second thing would be build creating a build script so there has to be a build script every time the code is checked in the build needs to get triggered so there has to be a build script now this can be depending on what technology we are using on java it can be ant on dot net it can be net so there are multiple uh, tools that are available available but 
Essentially, after identifying all the processes to be automated, we automate them. But then we have a build process. A build script needs to be written. After that, there will be share, which means by using any type of version control system, we can share the scripts and programs that we are writing. So the first step is uh, that when you identify what are the processes, you write a build script. Now you also have to have a shared code repository where you will be always checking in the code. So everybody in the team is using that. And now once all of this is done, this whole thing needs to be made continuous, which means this is automated. Every time you check in code, this process is followed where you build and you run some tests. But this requires, like I said, a mindset of so every team member needs to understand or have that discipline that every time they check in code one they religiously do the check in second they do their own local tests and runs uh, to ensure that what they are checking in is actually full proof so it these are the main steps that we need to keep in mind when we are planning to do a continuous integration now we looked at what is it how do we go about it but let's talk about what is the value why are we even thinking about this continuous integration or why was this concept even um, you know this concept why did it originate so the value of continuous integration value is what so there are typically like five six salient features or things that come out when we talk about continuous integration first is reducing risk we will look at each of these in detail but reducing risk is one reducing repetitive manual process generating a deployable software at any time at any place it enables better project visibility and it establishes greater confidence in the product that we are building now let us look at each of these in detail so first of all reduce risk this is a very very important thing that continuous integration provides us now when i say risk there can be risk of different types for example one of the risk can be the code that we are writing there are defects that come up now if those defects come up in production or higher environments the cost of fixing that defect is more because it will take more time more effort multiple deployments check ins etc so by doing a continuous integration making sure that the build and the test are running we are ensuring that defects are def uh, detected sooner right because there are multiple tests that are running you are doing check in several times a day so instead of identifying the defects late in the cycle of testing we are identifying them early on but one thing to keep in mind is continuous integration is not a magic wand it is an effort that we as a team are making we are establishing the process automating the process writing proper test cases the only thing that this concept is doing is it is giving us a direction of how do we uh put everything together as a process and a discipline to make our uh development cycle easier okay the second thing uh about risk how does it reduce the risk is about risk is about ensuring that the health of the software is measurable why because we are continuously testing and doing an inspection we have defined thresholds to fail or pass our test cases or to say whether the build has passed or failed now this whole thing helps us in creating a healthy software and we are also able to measure what is the health of the software it reduces assumptions why because we are rebuilding and testing the software in a clean environment and the same repetitive process is getting used so that is why we can reduce assumptions whether we are accounting for third party libraries environment variables all of certain dynamic things that change from one environment to another so we we are actually defect uh, detecting defects earlier we are making the software healthy by measuring the health and we are reducing any kind of assumptions so overall continuous integration reduces the risk second is reducing repetitive manual processes now if there was no continuous integration we were doing things manually without automation of course it is taking more time cost and effort so it is reducing all of those repetitive processes that we have been doing like code compilation database integration testing deployment all of that so this um, really saves a lot of cost time and effort there is just the initial effort of setting up this whole discipline and process but later on it is quite uh, easy 
so it will reduce a lot of labor or you know dev focus can go into actual coding and testing rather than doing all of this uh, automated uh, manual processes the third is generating a deployable software now what does that mean since we are doing this continuous integration and later on deployment continuous deployment delivery it enables us to create a deployable software at any point of time so deploying software our software from one environment to another becomes seamless so uh, and there, there are if there are any small changes that are happening to the code the rest of the code is still getting uh, tested so the moment we check in it is getting tested so it gives us confidence on our software product and makes it very very ready for deployment then there is this enable better project visibility why because we can now make effective uh, decisions the ci system can give a uh, just in time information about the build status the quality metrics because we have set up some thresholds right for the testing so it gives us a gives us a very good visibility on how the project health is how many builds passed versus failed the quality metrics etc and it gives us a trend also in terms of success and failure so we can judge the overall quality of the project then of course when we talked about all of the other benefits by looking at all those early detection and then health metrics etc overall my confidence on the product increases it provides us a very good confidence that we are testing building and our software is going to have a consistent behavior no matter which in environment i am deploying it it is functionally testable product so these were the benefits of continuous integration i hope this video gives you a quick peek into what continuous integration is and how does it help so please keep sharing liking and subscribing to the channel to get more interesting videos thank you so much